The neighborhood as an organization demonstrates a commitment for from individuals who want to help others uh, in this world. Its existence for 175 years says a lot about its lasting ability and its importance to each era that it's been involved in, helping people not just here in the United States, but around the world. The neighborhood for me began um, bowling, but eventually it led me to uh, be involved in our local activities, rising through the various chairs of leadership, ultimately becoming the uh, president of Denver B'nai B'rith. And through that involvement, it brought the opportunity for friendships, uh, besides the work of what B'nai B'rith did. B'nai B'rith was just an extension uh, of knowing these opportunities to meet with others. It showed me that um, there are people within the organization that looked out for younger people to try to advance and give them those entree levels to develop their own skills, to develop their own importance to the organization, which of course in the long run has led me to, to this spot. I've had the opportunity to meet with other leaders of the world, whether it be the presidents, the prime ministers, the foreign ministers, the ambassadors at the various missions. It gives you that opportunity to be able to deliver a message, to deliver opinions, to have a conversation about the issues that are important to our organization. My daughter uh, is active today, who um, has grown up through this Ben Aberth experience. And she, in her own right, has demonstrated her own ability to rise and do good work for the organization in the areas of interest that she has. And yeah, I have a lot of pride in her willingness and desire to do that. As president, it's a challenging role, but it's one that's that I've embraced and have appreciated every day of the responsibility that I have. The future of B'nai B'rith is bright, is unlimited. We've created organizations, organizations like the Anti-Defamation League, organizations like the Hello on college campuses, organizations like BBYO. We created them because there was a need at the time, and we were the organization that helped shepherd its beginning. Right here in Denver, which is my hometown, National Jewish Hospital was, was built uh, as a direct result of B'nai B'rith's involvement in the early 1900s. Today's involvement in the UN is challenging, and our role is to help bring back the UN to its original goals, to fight against human rights violations, to fight against uh, those who are treated badly, to provide the opportunity for advancements, no matter where they are on all corners of the globe. The heart in a service organization is really uh, at the core of the things that we do because it says we care about people. In our public policy arena, anti-Semitism has uh, unfortunately uh, been with us and it is really at the cornerstone of what we exist for. We are on the global stage of battling this global anti-Semitism, battling BDS movement. One of my predecessor presidents coined uh, the phrase uh, B'nai B'rith, the global voice of the Jewish community. And we are, we speak for the, for the world. We stand up strongly for the state of Israel. It's right, the state of Israel for its right to exist as a Jewish state. Certainly some of the perks, if you call it, um, of, of traveling, of meeting people that you wouldn't ordinarily meet. It's an opportunity that few have been given. And for that, I'm thankful. Probably one of the most thankful things I should say for me is your family. I wouldn't have been able to take this job without their support.